All right, so I hope this helps you out. Uh, your first question that we have to do is question 19. So Bill and Fred attach ropes to a stump in the ground and attempt to pull it out. Bill pulls in the direction of due north. So let's start with that. So let's draw our stump right here. And let's say that this is zero degrees and he pulls with a force of 110. And Fred pulls 90 degrees away from that. So let's say that this is 90 degrees. So that gives us a right triangle here. And he pulls with a force of 175. So typically these questions have two parts to them. Um, we want to know the direction of the force and we want to know the magnitude of the force. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate the direction. And so this is a 90 degree angle. So we can simply say that 110, so let's draw a triangle here, and we know that this is going to be coming up more towards the 175 than it is the 110. So we can say 110 over 175 gives us our, um, our ratio of the angle. And so we can multiply that times 90, and that will give us 57.8. So there is our angle for the first question. Now we need to calculate the force. So let's go and say 57.8 is theta. So with questions like this, we can think about each one of these as their own vector. So we have 110 at zero degrees, and then we have 175 at 90 degrees. So now what we can do is calculate the resultant force using this triangle here. And so this, I mean, we haven't even used any real trig yet, is A, right, 110, and this is B, and this is C. So we can just do 110 squared plus 175 squared. The square root of that will give us C, which is 206. Okay, this is just Pythagorean's theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay. So we can say force equals 206. So if that matches the answers that you got earlier, then you know you're on the right track. So now we can do the same thing. We can say that we've got our stump for our next question. And let's read it out. Question 19, Bill and Fred were unable to dislodge the stump. Go figure. In another attempt to dislodge, Bill moves nearer to Fred so that the ropes are now at a 20 degree angle from each other. Fred does not move from his position. Both men pull uh, their maximum. Bill with 175 foot pounds of force and Fred with 110 foot pounds of force. What is the net force applied to the stump? And what is the angle at which um, they're pulling at? So we're gonna calculate that same thing. We should expect theta to go much smaller and we should expect the force to become larger because they are getting closer together. So we're gonna do 110 and we're gonna do 175. And we know this is at a 20 degree angle. Now we should be able to do that same thing. 110 over 175 times 20. And that should give us our angle. Let's see, I don't have this one stored nicely. So 110 over 175 times 20. So this will give us about 12.5. So here we've got our theta equals 12.5. And you can do this significantly more complex using trigonometry, but for the most part, you don't need to. And now here, we can say that we've got our first vector of 110. 
and we have our second vector of 175. Now we know that this angle is 20. Because you know that angle is 20 and we know a straight line is 180, we know that this angle is 160, right? We also know that we can draw a triangle here and that it would be a right angle here. So if this is 20 and this is 90, let's see, that would give us an angle of 70. So 70, 80, 90, 90, 100 degrees or 180 degrees. So we can calculate out this triangle. And so now we need to calculate out that triangle. We know that this is 175. And we know based on Sokotoa that we can calculate the um, our angles here. Well, actually, we're going to end up using the law of cosines. So we want to calculate here. So we're going to say a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times the cosine of c. So a squared is 110 plus 175 squared minus 2 times 110 times 175 times the cosine of 160. And so let's plug this into our nifty calculator. We'll get 110 squared plus 175 squared minus 2 times 110 times 175 times the cosine of 160. And something went wrong. Oh, right, the square root. And that gives us a value of 280.8. So force equals 280.8. I hope that that's helpful. Uh, let me know if you need any more help, uh, but that should answer your question for you.